Today I'll be shining the spotlight on a brand that deserves a prime spot in your collection. And guess what? I've got not one, but two of their extraordinary watches. Introducing Man Watches, born in 2017 with a simple vision to provide top quality watches at reasonable prices. And they were founded by two Dutch watch enthusiasts and the name is derived from the old Dutch spelling of the word moon. But are they any good? Well, we're going to find out right now. So first up, the Manhattan. I will admit, when I first laid eyes on it, I wasn't really a fan. But man, this thing grew on me. And each morning when I went to grab a man watch, I started reaching for the Manhattan more and more as the days went by. This incredibly thin integrated bracelet with the squared off dial is very cool. And it reminds me of the 1970s Vacheron, the 2215. It's pretty much a homage of that watch and that's not a bad thing because that thing was beautiful and so is the Manhattan with its almost completely brushed look but it's got high polished bevels for highlights. It looks upscale and expensive on the wrist. It just shimmers. The bevels are laser sharp done to a high degree and they are very smooth. And even the way they did the bezel Unlike the Vacheron, which is round, this one is more of a royal oak bezel with a flat brushed portion and a larger, more dominant high polished bevel surround. This watch has a ton of style and you will fit right in with high powered executives in downtown Manhattan. Now let's do the dimensions. I got 39 millimeters in diameter, a secret measurement of 27 millimeters. That's from three to nine. And we got an incredible ultra thin 7mm case including that flat sapphire with anti-reflective coating on the underside. The lug to lug comes in at 47.8 and where the integrated bracelet connects is about 23.5mm and it aggressively tapers to 17 I think it wears perfect on my 17 centimeter wrist, but you guys be the judge on the faraway shots and let me know how it wears. The bracelet has fine brushing just like on the case. It's fixed via screws and it's a butterfly clasp. There's no micro adjustments here, but the links are very tiny, so you should be able to dial it in correctly. Now the crown is push pull comes in at four millimeters. It's tiny, but I never had any issues using it. So no complaints. And even though this has sapphire on the top, bottom and a push pull crown, it still has a confidence inspiring 100 meters of water resistance. Very impressive. And when we look through the sapphire in the back, we see the Elabor grade ETA 7001. It's a hand winding mechanical with no hacking. But there is no seconds hand, so does that really matter? No. The Manhattan is powered by the ETA 7001. It's a low beat 17 joule manual wind with 42 hours of power reserve. And man goes the extra mile by regulating it in five positions and decorating it. It's got blued screws and Cote de Genève. And speaking of Cote de Genève, we do have that on the top as well. Usually you see that decoration on the movement bridges, but with the Manhattan, they put it on the dial and it's beautifully decorated with the applied indices and high polish handset. But let's check out that rate. We got perfect beat error and zero, zero, negative one, and the fourth and final round, negative two seconds a day. Now let's turn our attention to the Skymaster. Isn't that a great name? <laughs> I love it. Named after the Douglas DC-4 Skymaster, which pioneered scheduled transatlantic flights from Amsterdam to New York in 1946. It's a vintage inspired chronograph that's refreshingly mid-size. Speaking of size, what's those dimensions? Well, I got 38 millimeters in diameter 
a secret measurement of 30 millimeters, and a thickness of 13.4, including that boxed domed sapphire crystal. And we have no drilled lugs and a lug to lug of 47 even. Wow, that's thinner than the typical chronographs that we look at 14.5, 15.5 millimeters. But still, I would have liked to see a solid case back instead of the sapphire for an even thinner profile at about 13 even. But in the end, it wears great on my wrist and has a ton of presence due to those bold, blocky, blunt lugs. They are high polish on top with brushing on the sides. The signed push-pull crown is large at 7.5 millimeters and it helps give the Skymaster 100 meters of water resistance. That is pretty good for a chronograph because it does have pump style pushers, so more points of entry for water. And these pushers feel very tactile. They give you a crispy actuation. They're fun to use. Pilots love to track multiple time zones and you can do that with the Skymaster because there is a dual time ceramic bezel. But how does it feel and how does it sound? Ooh, that's satisfying. This is precise, but it still manages to feel refined. It's also very grippy. It's a 60 click bi-directional and you'll definitely want to experience this for yourself. Now let's take a look at the bracelet. It looks like a three link, but it's actually a five link. That's 20 millimeters and it tapers down to 16. Everything is solid and completely brushed except for the two high polished pieces that hug that center link. It's fully articulating, so it's going to be extremely comfortable on your wrist. The clasp is signed man. It's got four micro adjusts and it's fully milled. Powering the Skymaster is the Caliber SW510. It's a 288 VPH hack hand winding mechanical with 23 joules and 64 hours of power reserve. This one is a fully integrated cam chronograph and these numbers look great. Plus four, negative one, zero, and the fourth and final round, zero. So what is this Swiss chronograph going to cost you? Well, on the five link bracelet I have here, it's 1987 USD. So $2,000 gets you this vintage inspired mid-size chronograph. Okay, there's the loom shot for both watches. We got C1, X1 on the Manhattan, very powerful, and X1 old radium super luminova on the Skymaster. So what do you guys think of these two fine offerings from Man Watches? I will have a link to their website down in the description. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, then you can go ahead right now and click into one of the two I have for you on the right of your screen. And I will see you there.